He is a longtime veteran of the Los Angeles Police Department and a commanding officer of Operations South Bureau, who, after 35 incredible years, is celebrating his retirement. He has overseen 1,700 sworn officers and 150 civilian employees and has served 800,000 residents in South Los Angeles and in the Port of Los Angeles. He is a third generation Los Angeles police officer and started in 1976 as a police student worker and steadily rose to the ranks of the Los Angeles Police Department. He was a longtime supporter of efforts to reduce violent gang crime through the use of gang intervention and partnerships with intervention agencies. In 2011, Chief Gannon was key in developing the Community Safety Partnership Program between the Los Angeles Police Department and the Housing Authority to establish relationships, community programs, and youth outreach in four housing developments in East Los Angeles and Watts. These partnerships greatly improved the department's relationship with the community and opened up lines of communication and created a mutually beneficial relationship that has enhanced the lives of many. Throughout his long career, his hard work and professionalism has earned him the respect and admiration of all those who had the pleasure of working with him. And I have known thousands of Los Angeles police officers and officers from, from multiple agencies during that time and none of them, none of them, hold a candle to Pat Gannon when it comes to humanity, service, and integrity. He is truly the better angel of the Los Angeles Police Department. Well, Chief, it's pretty surreal that I stand here before you honoring you on your retirement. It was you who introduced me to the law enforcement career. You recruited me. I was a young rec assistant at Bogdanovich Park when you took me under your wing. And he said, uh, Joe, you'll be a great LAPD officer. And I said, I'm in. You took me uh, under your wing, and I can't thank you enough for um, introducing me to such a rewarding and blessed career within the Los Angeles Police Department. I look up to you professionally and personally. You're a great father. You're an amazing husband. And you're just a great cop. All those late nights, missing birthdays, uh, missing holidays, to make a commitment and a sacrifice, a lifelong sacrifice, to the city of Los Angeles, and we're forever grateful. Your style of management has always been superior. Not a lot of fanfare, get the job done, move in, take care of business. Uh, and South Bureau is a challenging bureau, there's no question about it. You've handled extremely well. And we would have meetings in the community uh, where you were there, and it's very intense and very emotional because dealing with gang issues is all of that and much, much more. But when you spoke, you let everybody know, yes, I'm a police officer, but I understand what you're going through. Two in the morning, the council doesn't come out, our deputies don't come out, it's your officers that come out, and they gotta make quick decisions. But it's the leadership and the backbone that you give them that help them serve the people of Los Angeles. I think uh, when you went to Harbor, we had a lot of people call one about why this baby captain was coming down to run Harbor area, but you did a remarkable job there, and I'm so pleased to see you progress the way you have. Thank you very much, um, Councilwoman Perry and, and Joe, and, and everybody who had such nice things to say. I, I do appreciate that. I appreciate the council and the fact that uh, every time I've had to come before the council on a lot of different, uh, a lot of different issues, I was always treated uh, very fairly. And uh, um, it wasn't always necessarily the uh, most positive things because they, they were difficult issues, uh, but we did it in a way in which I thought we got things accomplished. And, and, uh, and to that, I'll always have that, uh, that, that memory, and that was, that was special. Uh, I thank Councilman Parks. Uh, he was the one who promoted me to the uh, to the command level of of, of captain. That really kind of launched me into the direction of uh, of deputy chief. And and to be perfectly honest, um, Tom Labonge mentioned that I have any idea that I would be a deputy chief. No, I didn't. Have, I had no clue at, at all. You know, my my grandfather uh, started as a Los Angeles police officer in 1927. Uh, um, and he actually, the building must have just opened because the story that he told me is he came here, um, was given the job as a police officer, they sent him across the street to a uniform store and said, buy your gun and buy your stuff and, and you're a cop. Now go, go off and do your, uh, do your stuff. And 
so he, uh, he was all over the, the city as a, as a police officer. My dad uh, joined the police department in uh, 1947. Uh, my grandfather retired in, in 1954. My dad went on to 19, uh, 1974. I didn't have the, the pleasure of actually working with my dad. Uh, I did work a, a, a station where he was at and, and, and heard a lot of stories that I didn't hear when I was a kid. Uh, that was always interesting. But uh, I've, I've, been, I've been blessed. And, and now to have uh, Michael on the job, uh, we, uh, it's, it's really, I, you can't put into words what you feel. Um, the pride for this organization, for this city, um, as, as I feel. So yesterday, Michael and I um, worked, <laughs> <laughs> we worked a, a radio car together. And uh, it, was, it was really special. It's really special. And we had a good time. We laughed. We gave a ticket out. <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy who's watching this would probably go, hey, that old guy was a... <laughs> Tried to warn him, but he wouldn't take the warning. Um, but, uh, and, and we just had a great time down in, in, in Harbor Division and uh, went by uh, Councilman Buscaino's um, home and, and uh, ordered him out of his house with his hands up <laughs> over the PA system, which was funny. He complied. <laughs> uh, but, but I just had a wonderful career. Working for, uh, for Charlie Beck has been a dream come true. Uh, for him to have the faith in me to be a deputy chief and to be in South Bureau where I, I love South Bureau. I love that community. I know I don't look like that community, <laughs> but nobody treated me that I didn't. And uh, I've always had, a, had um, a lot of good relationships and, and strong partnerships in, 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 that, in that area. And I think together, We've reduced, we've reduced uh, crime very, very well. Bob Green, who's over here, has been my partner. He's going to be the new Deputy Chief for uh, Operations South Bureau, so I think Bob deserves it. And I couldn't have done anything that I've done, obviously, without my family, and, and especially my, my wife, who did um, the boatload of work. And, and if my kids are successful, it's not, my, it's not because of me. It's because of everything that, that, Terry, that Terry did. Um, but uh, thank you to the council. Thank you for supporting not only me, but thank you for supporting the Los Angeles Police Department. I realize, and I, I watch all of you as you deal with very, very difficult issues. And I know the budgets are, are continue to be, be in a problem. And I know you have all have worked very hard to make the Los Angeles Police Department a priority in, the, in, in, that, in those budgets. And, and I know even in the coming years, that's still going to be, be difficult. But I've seen the city of Los Angeles when we didn't have enough police officers. And it wasn't a good pl place to police. And the police department didn't have anywhere close to the level of respect that I think it has now. We still have a long way to go. There are still issues that uh, we have to overcome as, a, as an agency. Um, so in advance, I thank you for whatever support you can throw the way of the Los Angeles Police Department. And um, anyway, in 1978, I entered this department. I was very proud. I'm even more proud today of this agency. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.